So the CompTIA Pen Test Plus. A lot of you have asked me about the certification. Let's talk about it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dewan. So CompTIA contacted me and asked me to partner with them to bring you everything you need to know about the CompTIA Pen Test Plus new certification exam so in this video what i want to do is give you everything you need to be successful in achieving the comptia pentas plus certification exam and just give you everything you need to be successful in your it career that's always my goal so with no further ado let's hop into it so the new comptia pentas plus exam is through comptia which has the best online training courses for certification in a variety of security fields. CompTIA also certifies the leading IT professionals with the skills they need most to be successful in information technology. As I mentioned before, the exam code for the new CompTIA Pentest Plus is going to be PT0-001, and that may be PTO-001 also. But that's the exam code you're going to need if you're looking to take this exam. This exam was released on July 31st, 2018. So it's, it's a fairly new exam. Um, there's not much information out there. If you compare it to, let's like if we go to Indeed right now, I mean, you type in Pentest Plus, you're gonna find 56 jobs. Now, it's a brand new exam, so a lot of recruiters and companies may not know about it yet. But if you look at the Security Plus, there's over 500,000 jobs, almost 600,000 jobs in America right now. So it will pick up steam. If you're wondering about the Pentest Plus, it's basically an offensive um, certification rather than the CYSA, which is its counterpart, is a defensive certification when it comes to security. You're going into organizations, penetration testing and looking for vulnerabilities and reported them to the agencies that you're um, working for. Some other keynotes from the um, CompTIA Pen Test Plus is, it's an intermediate security level certification for IT professionals tasked with hands-on penetration testing to identify, exploit, report, and manage vulnerabilities on a network. CompTIA Pen Test Plus is the only exam taken at a Pearson View testing center that includes hands-on performance-based questions to ensure that each candidate possesses the skills, knowledge, and ability to perform tasks on systems. It covers hands-on penetration testing and vulnerability, vulnerability assessment and management skills used to plan, scope, and manage weaknesses, not just exploit them. The CompTIA Pen Test Plus is unique because it requires a candidate to demonstrate hands-on ability and knowledge to test devices in new environments such as cloud and mobile in addition to traditional desktops and servers. Now to me, just right off the bat, for those of you that are really interested in penetration testing, I do believe that this certification will be a valuable certification in the long run. In the short run, it's going to give you a whole bunch of skills and knowledge, I believe, to get you in the industry. Because let's talk about this. When you look at other CompTIA certification, when you look at the Security Plus and the CASP, which is a CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner Certification Exam, and then you also look at the CYSA, this will be right up with those certifications, I believe, in the long run. Um, and the reason why I say that is that, for one, the CYSA, is defensive and the pen test plus is offensive but it was just re released in the july so it's brand new but the thing about those other three certs that i mentioned is that they're all on the dod 8570 certification list meaning that they're approved for you to have those certifications to get a dod um, clearance job or a security job in the DOD, which goes across not only DOD, but pretty much in the security field, period. So with it being a counterpart to the CYSA, I believe this certification will be valuable. Okay, so when we talk about the DOD 8570 and what's approved for baseline certifications for you to work within the DOD security environment, there's a list of CompTIA certifications that are on there. In multiple areas, the Security Plus is on this list. The um, CASP that we mentioned before is on the list. The CYSA is already on the list. Um, in a multiple, 
in multiple domains within the DOD is approved. So with those certifications already being approved for DOD, I don't see a reason why the Conti of Pentest Plus won't also make it on this list. It's just hasn't been listed publicly yet because it's so new, just implemented in July. So this certification will be a good certification to have, I believe, um, not only now because of the information it provides, but also in the near future. But as I mentioned before, it's such a new certification. Um, the first thing I recommend that you do is come over to CompTIA's website. Link will be in the description. Take the practice exam and also get the exam ejectus so you can have that to prepare for the exam. And then research this information, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it to you. I gave you the exam description before. There's 85 questions on the exam, maximum. Um, it's performance based and multiple choice questions and the length of the test is going to be 165 minutes you need a passing score of 750 and it's 349 dollars for this exam and usually after three years the exam retires they recommend that you have a minimum of three or four years hands-on experience for this certification it does say that it's an immediate intermediate certification rather than the core skills which i guess they're saying that the security plus is going to be the entry level certification then intermediate is going to be the pen test plus and the cysa and then the advanced is going to be the casp the advanced security practitioner certification so comte is really trying to map this out um and and that's good gives you a clear path and you know i also talk about the certification roadmap i'm sure they're going to update that and add this to it so be on the lookout for that from CompTIA. So sign up for their newsletter so you can have that. Um, I, I always talk about looking at that roadmap because it not, not only has CompTIA's um, certifications on there, but it has other organizations also, which is awesome. So some of the job titles you can have with this Pentest Plus certification is going to be Penetration Tester, Vulnerability Tester, Security Analyst, Vulnerability Assessment Analyst, Network Security Operations, and working in the not pretty much in application security vulnerability. I hopped on Indeed and I looked for some jobs all across America. So here are some jobs that are currently out there for the C for the Pentest Plus. This looks pretty cool. Pentest Capture the Flag Cyber Study. And it's $100, $160 an hour. Woo! -hoo! That looks pretty cool. That looks really cool. If you do do it, let me know in the comment section below. So some resources that are out there for the Pentest Plus. If I hop on Amazon right now, these are the books that I found out there. Some of them haven't been released yet. I'll have a link in the description to them, but since they're so new, they really don't have um, reviews. So you can be the first to review the books and sign up for these books that are out there. And then if I hop on Udemy, I didn't find too many co courses on this. But there is one course that looks like it has 269 ratings. I have a link for this in the description also by um, Jason Dia. So if you all do check out this video course on Udemy, please let me know in the comment section below so I can let people know and also leave a review so more people can have information about what's out there for this Pentest Plus. Now, I hope I provided you all the information that you need to be successful with the CompTIA Pentest Plus exam. It's a brand new exam, so whenever you're approaching a new exam, uh, make sure you study the exam objectives very closely and not just the study material that you're using because anytime you take an exam, not just a brand new exam, but the exam topics, objectives are always what you want to follow and make sure that you structure your study sessions and lab and sessions after. I have a very detailed video that I'll post a link here on how you can use OneNote with your exam objectives to make sure that you don't miss anything and you cover all your information and you can take your notes on the go. Anyway, I wish you all much success. Thanks again for CompTIA for partnering with me on this video, sponsoring this video. You all are awesome. And thank you all for your support. If you like this video, hit it with a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this video. And if you got comments about this Pentest Plus exam, please leave them in the comment section below. I thank you all for your support, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.